Wait, what year is this? Oh, yeah. My name is Tim Monteo. I'm a filmmaker, composer, and VFX artist with nearly 30 years in the entertainment business. At the end of 2019, things were looking up. I was coming into the new year strong. I was finishing up post-production on two feature films back to back and I was getting ready to start another when all of a sudden... COVID-19! The first case of China's new and deadly coronavirus has been reported here in the U.S. Officials now say more than 400 people have been sickened and nine people have died. We direct a statewide order for people to stay at home. New numbers show film, television, and commercial production in Los Angeles County dropped nearly 98% in the three months after coronavirus stay-at-home orders took effect. One thing's for sure, to survive as an artist in this town, you have to adapt to an ever-changing technological landscape. A few months prior to social distancing, I was starting to dip my toe into learning how to use Unreal Engine, a tool for creating AAA games for PCs and gaming consoles like PlayStation. Hollywood was starting to embrace this real-time technology. I was starting to realize how important these tools would quickly become. I jumped in head first and made a strange little short called Viral. The process was great and I learned a ton. The latest in the coronavirus emergency, hospital admissions in the U.S. soaring past 65,000, a record and more than 144,000 daily new cases, states and cities cracking down and reimposing restrictions. As I realized that this quarantine was gonna go on a bit longer, I decided to make something a bit more grand. Since Halloween was only a few months away, I decided to go with a zombie theme, but what to make? Did I wanna make something scary? I just recently written this tune. It was very forward moving, sort of hopeful, but melancholy all at the same time. This didn't scream zombies or horror, but in my mind, it was all coming together. The simple story I came up with was a zombie that doesn't want to do zombie stuff. He just wants to get home and see his girl. I'm not afraid to admit that I'm a sucker for a good love story. And that's what I decided to make. But it would be a journey to get there. To pull this whole thing together, it would require some skills that I already had and some I was about to learn. Like rigging, retargeting, character animation, lighting, atmospherics, set design, blocking, fluid simulations, editing, sound design, data management, and of course, music composition. The main character had to go through three stages of injury and decay. But to make it truly grand, it couldn't just be the main zombie, but rather a large cast of characters, like 37-ish. There was also a bunch of animals and insects. The girl zombie was designed using Real Illusion Character Creator, which has some great new tools for creating realistic skin and flowing hair. Because I'm a huge horror fan, you'll find a bunch of Easter eggs. Did you spot them? Some of my weird ideas just didn't flow with the final piece. Here's a few of the shots that ended up on the cutting room floor. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching and please wear a mask so we can all get back to work.